Good evening, my friends. You are interested in the mysterious, the unknown, the unexplainable, for that is why you are here. Now, for the first time, we are bringing you the full untold history, the events that we are bringing to you to demonstrate, beyond any doubt, the existence of the supernatural, the paranormal. Yes, my friends, are your hearts ready for the mysterious unknown to be revealed? Oh God, here we go. We need the big distraction, Eric. We should have had this planned way before they went in. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm, the flash powder? The flash powder, Kenneth's got flash powder. An explosion? I've got flash paper in my pocket. I carry it everywhere for my illusions. What the hell? It's a magic scarf. Wrong pocket. Here we are. Pour the powder in the sheets. We can use the Tinkerbell's energy source. That's a great idea. Wait. What? Keep pouring. We need to put it somewhere. Continue with this. I'm going to climb up the hill and see what it looks like over there. We can use these to bind the flash bomb. Jesus. The fence goes around the entire town. Wait a second. Who is that? All right. The last thing we do is connect the Tinkerbell so it doesn't explode in our hands. I hope this is going to be loud enough. Okay, I see what the trouble is. There is a black figure roaming around. I saw nothing else. If we take the flash bomb and get it behind it, maybe we can get it to turn around. What's behind it? There is a house on the hill. Did you see where Mrs. Houdini and Kenneth are? No, I can only assume they were in hiding. We need to be ready for whatever they come up with out there, which I hope is soon. We're going to have to be ready to run for it. You're going to have to take your shoes off for that. Ugh, understood. I'll put them in my Kodak bag. I'm going to sneak out and look around and see if I can get a location on the person. If they're out of sight, we'll just make a run for it. And if not? We'll stay put and hope the gang can rescue us. Oh no, this is not good. What? What is it? There's a... Th it's a woman. She's right outside the building, and I think she's fixing to come in. <gasps> Any time now, Doc. Keep pressing that button, Mrs. Houdini. Let's go! It's clear. Go, go, go. Step lively, leaves aloud. Shut up and keep going! Everything is put away. Where's Harry? He's on his way. I, I can see him. I'm gonna meet Bess and Ken at the gate. Once Harry gets back, start heading to the inn. Agreed. Catch up to us as soon as you can. Agreed. Are we ready? Where is she going? To meet our heroes. Grab the equipment and let's go. They will catch up to us on the way. Good job. Let's make haste. Where are the others? Taking the stuff back. We're to meet up. Is she okay? She's a bit anxious, but she's breathing. Kenneth is in the process of developing the photos. How is Mrs. Houdini? She was a tad stressed. She had a cup of chamomile and she's resting right now. That's good news. I suppose, but maybe it wasn't a good idea to begin with. I'm going to have to agree with you. We should have done more research before sending them in there. More surveillance. We should have known that place inside and out. But we should have all just went in there. We could have. We could have in the cover of night. It was a mistake. It, we wouldn't have been able to get those photos. I could have drawn them out or something. We should have figured something out. Smith is right. This whole setup was irresponsible. We can't focus on that right now. All we can do is move on, learn from our mistakes, and go forward. We can all agree that there is certainly something unsavory about that place. We were thrown into this ridiculous assignment blind. All we can do is continue with trial and error until we develop some kind of algorithm in order to conduct such missions righteously. Perhaps, but still, we're going to have to be more cautious. Yes, no more half-ass planning. We are smarter than that. Hot off the presses. Excellent. Good show, old man. I couldn't fire off too many of them. You got photo- Good lord. Look at all that. Some kind of hieroglyphs? It's Aramaic. Like the biblical Aramaic? The very same. The language of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you read it? Not fluently, but I can make out some of it. Like this word is faith, or this line has been seen in the prayer of St. Michael. Glorious Prince, Chief and Champion of the Heavenly Hosts, 
Master, bid thee bear us speedily to the kingdom of eternal bliss, etc. It is a protection. Come again? The prayer of St. Michael. It's a prayer of protection. Whatever is in the town and whomever was in that house and tried to protect their home and their families or what have you. Howard's right. Whatever these people were afraid of, they tried to protect themselves from it. Hmm. You don't think they could have been calling anything else? Why would you think that? These are prayers of protection. And what is this? I... I don't know. It's like some kind of mandala. And that isn't Christian, is it? No, it's usually used in Hinduism. It's a sacred symmetrical symbol. It can be used for several things, but also protection. But that's usually the hand of Fatima that protects. I know what that is. I've seen it before. Where? How? When I was up on the hill, setting up the bomb. It's the town. So what's next? Uh, what do we do now? How much do we need to find out to satisfy this employer? How's about a spot of lunch before we make any more plans? I'm feeling a mite peckish. I like that idea. I'll go get the Petruska. This is a pleasant little lunch. Yes, it hit the spot. Hello, my friends. Uh, this just came by the post today uh, for all of you while you were out. A package? It says it's from Crowley. Open it. Find out what it is. Excuse me. What the hell? Oh my god. It's a goddamn severed arm. What the hell are we supposed to do with that? Shove it up our ass? It's a hand of glory. What is it for? Besides help regurgitate lunch. Don't be so mal- Never mind. You want the uses or the history? Start with the history and then the uses. Tez Wicks? It's more melodramatic for our audience. Watch your step. You're gonna fall through that fourth wall. The Hand of Glory. It has a bit of a dark history, severed from a malefactor or murderer. It works best when it's the hand that actually did the deed. After the murderer is hanged or executed for his crimes, and the more victims, the more potent, the hand is then cut off the murderer and bled, and soaked in the fat of the malefactor. And the wicks are fashioned from the criminal's hair, usually. The whole process lasts for an entire moon cycle, from new moon to new moon, and treated during the gibbous phase. Absolutely amazing! Now, its uses vary depending on how powerful the hand is. Legend has it, when lit, it will only provide light for the bearer, unlock doors, and render those around it motionless. That's incredible! You've never heard of the Hand of Glory? It could be all myth for all I know. I meant the letter in the box that came with the hand. It says almost the exact same thing you just said, verbatim, except there's a part in here about pepper and salt and being exposed to sunlight of the dog days and uses the term gibbeted felon instead of malfactor. Oh, it says it can be only extinguished by milk. Milk? Not blood? Says milk. I suppose an item like this has several legends and origins. Crowley also says, I felt this particular item would come in handy. Thelma, bless you. Forgive me, I was not expecting anything like that. Understandable. So, Smith, is there a penis of glory? (laughs) Oh, God. Certainly is warm out here for this time of year. My thoughts exactly. I'm starting to regret wearing this coat. How do we light the, the hand? As far as I know, you just light it. Light it like a candle. I brought matches. I've got once in one to light. Those'll do. I've got a little device. Does it make fire? Yes, with electricity. That'll work too. Howard, do you have something that makes fire? I'm sorry, what? I checked out when you said light it. <laughs> Howard, you're the living end. Before we go in, I've got an idea on how we can use the Hand of Glory. Let's have it. The candle has five fingers, and there are five of us. Ah, right. For all of us to get the benefits of the Hand and none of the effects, we should all light a finger. Brilliant! I'm not sure how stuff like this works, but we're not supposed to all try holding it, are we? I'm hoping that each of us lighting a finger should help with that. Harry, please give Howard and me a match, please. Straight away. Kenneth, use your wonder light to light the matches, and Tesla, get your... your... device ready. Once all matches are lit, on the count of three, we will all light one of the wicks. Harry the index, Kenneth the middle, Howard the ring, Tesla the pinky, and I'll take the thumb. One. Two. Three. The flame. The luminous mittens is... Kind of unnatural. I've got a bad feeling about this. Come on, let's see if this damn thing works. Okay, first obstacle, the gate. Are we ready? Do it, Harry. My word. Would you look at that? It's incredible. 
Let's get this show on the road. What's this new hell? My friends, do not let your eyes see, nor your ears hear, that which you cannot account for. These historic events are designed to help you to be prepared for the thrilling, relentless exploration into the unexplained. Join us next week when the mysterious unknown is revealed.